Hello everybody, um, I'm sorry I haven't done a YouTube video for a long time, but I'm going to be doing, I'm going to show you how to set up a, um, a games console to a portable TV slash portable DVD player. So you need your portable DVD player, a lead that has got this on, and AV like, and these sort of AV cables and if I can get the camera to focus yes um, so what you would do is um, so sorry but the camera um, died there um, so what you do is you would plug your PlayStation into the wall camera might um, stop automatically a few times. Oh, let's get a different camera. I'll plug my PlayStation into the wall down there. And I could keep the DVD player charged up, but I'll see how it goes. Um, I'll plug a controller in. So like that, we'll be using it a bit later. And then what you would do is you'd get your PlayStation cable and I might put the camera a bit further over there and you might be able to see it a bit better. Then I'll be plugging the cable to there. And I'll put this video together. Um, then you plug the AV into there, like that. Hope you saw that. Um, and then you get your AV um, cable at the end, and you plug it into the AV in of the DVD player. Um, there's a DVD in there, so I'd better take that out. Don't want to get any copyright things. I'll put the PlayStation the player TV on top of the PlayStation. And then what you want to do is you plug your, um, you turn the DVD player on. And how long the battery's going to last. Then on this one you want to press source so it says AV in and because I've plugged the PlayStation in to the um, DVD player into the AV in I'll get the remote for the player and I'm going to turn up the volume so that you can hear the um, the PlayStation. All right, it's ready. So now we're gonna put the PlayStation on. And there you go, you've got a PS2 menu on the portable DVD player slash portable TV. Um, so this is quite good. Um, if you want to have two screens and if you wanna play two player games, you could get another DVD player, the same as this. Make sure it's got the, um, I'll zoom out. Make sure it's got the um, AV in, AV out. You could get an AV out lead, plug it into a, another DVD, plug it into another DVD player, get these on it, plug it into that, the separate DVD player AV in, and you could have it on two monitors and be able to have player one on one monitor and player two on another DVD player. Unfortunately I don't have another DVD player so I can't set it up but let's see how it loads with a game or let's have a look at the browser. I should stop the camera.
I was doing this. I don't want to put DVD in because of copyright, but I am going to put. So it will just be from on the browser. And so you got Gran. So you got Gran Turismo 4. reading the disc. It still works. And there you go. That's the DVD player. Um, that's a PlayStation 2 on a portable DVD player. If you want to hook up something like, you can even hook up a PlayStation 3, a PS4, an Xbox, um, uh, you could hook up, um, it doesn't, my DVD player doesn't have an HDMI, so it hasn't got an HDMI in, because you could hook up a PlayStation, a newer PlayStation to it, or an Xbox. As I have an Xbox, I could use, I could do my Xbox, but I haven't got, um, an AV cable for what I've plugged the PS2 in, um, but all I just have is an HDMI for my Xbox, so... This is quite a good way if you're gonna bring, if you're gonna go somewhere and want to play your PlayStation, take your PlayStation with you. If you want a little TV to hook it up on in a room that hasn't got a telly, you can plug it into the D, you can plug your DVD player into on a table on top of the PlayStation and have a little way of your PlayStation taking it portable. But you'll need to plug find somewhere to plug the PlayStation in if you want to watch your PlayStation if you want to play your games looking at the little TV. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up, like, um, like, subscribe and hope you enjoyed this video.